Hey guys, welcome to the studio, and of course, come on in as always. And this is a uh, soapbox time, <laughs> my video channel. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop back on my soapbox, and let's talk about mistakes. We need to end making mistakes. Now, let me clarify right off the bat here. I'm not talking about practicing or at band practice or learning something like that, or or if you're just messing around or that sort of thing. But I'm talking about when you're in the studio, when you're doing live performances, those kind of deals, we need to end our mistakes. I find that when I go and listen to a band and I hear mistakes, uh, uh, especially uh, myself being another musician, I find that it's extremely distracting, distracting, very noticeable, and that's just something I think that to really up your game plan, you really need to eliminate making mistakes. Uh, I understand that, uh, you know, sometimes you really are playing some things that are maybe right at the edge of your skill level, and the thing to do with that is just to make sure that uh, you're not trying to do things that are out of your reach, but just to play right up to that skill level and to, and to play comfortably. I think if you play things that uh, are a little simpler, and I'm just offering the solution here, and uh, make zero mistakes, then uh, you're going to come off much more impressive, uh, much more desirable to listen to as a musician, and uh, then somebody that uh, is playing maybe technically a little bit better but makes a mistake every so often. Of course, in the studio, we need to eliminate mistakes. When you're coming in and, and recording and you're on the clock, it's just a total waste of time when you make mistakes. So, therefore, when you come into the studio, make sure you're well rehearsed. You know your parts down cold, uh, and, and you know, and that's that's the benefit of having a home studio because we can make mistakes and we can experiment. We can write our music as we're recording. But I'm talking about when you're on the clock or when you're paying to be in the studio or, or something's important or you've got other people waiting on you mistakes they got to go out the window here so i think that's really important here's another thing that uh, i'm a little uh, hesitant to touch on but i find that uh, a lot of uh, church bands and praise teams that they make a fair amount of mistakes and i understand that that uh, a lot of praise teams aren't made up of professional musicians and don't necessarily have the time to practice but uh, I find that it's extremely distracting to uh, be in a, in a church setting and hear mistakes that uh, if they were to give their best, as is typically required to do, then uh, the mistake should not be there. It's a, it's a distraction and it really disrupts the whole thing. But I think that just that, that covers everything. If, you, if you're going to listen to a, a group, and uh, at a local establishment and you're hearing mistakes, you're going to walk away from there and go, well, you know, they're pretty good, but, uh, but they weren't great. Put this in context. When's the last time that you really saw a pro national caliber group make a mistake? I'm going to say it's going to be never. And obviously there's, there's going to be exceptions here and there. You see, uh, you know, a couple of things on YouTube that, that go viral because of, of a mistake that a, that a touring group potentially made. But it, it certainly isn't the norm, and it, in fact, it's the rarity. And uh, I'm just going to brag a little bit on myself. I remember back in the day when we were uh, playing rock and roll and we were playing in the bars, uh, we we would come out of the uh, the gig a four hour gig we were playing uh, ten to twelve songs an hour and we'd come out of there and at the end of the gig we'd say that was a good night I didn't feel that I made any mistakes or we'd say oh I heard the bass player you got you made one mistake that night didn't you and he said yeah yeah and I maybe made another one that you didn't hear but for the most part we played mistake free for an entire evening and uh, I think it really helped our band in that situation, made uh, people think we really uh, were much better potentially than we really were, but that's all because we didn't play with mistakes. It's really important. That's all I'm going to say about that. I'm going to hop down off my soapbox and I'll let you go. Remember guys, no mistakes. We'll catch you in the next video. Later guys.